time to view your work again in this week's gallery. Now, I've had a bit of a tough time this week because I've had so many really amazing replays. It's been really difficult to work out where they should go. You guys just want to tear up the battlefield and cause absolute mayhem. So, this was officially part one, but I've had to change it because, like I said, you guys are just too good. So this is now Aces of the Week. Replays of the Week Part 2 came out yesterday and Awesomeness of the Week came out earlier. And it's just amazing how wow you guys play these tanks. It really is. It's so great to see so many good players. Anyway, without further ado, let's have a look at your work in this week's gallery. <laughs> Welcome back to Fujits Blitz and it's back to the gallery or replays of the week, whichever you want to call it. And this week, boy, have we got some great games for you. This is officially part one, but it's all aces, so no surprises anymore. Anyway, first off, we've got Bunny Bun 123 of FTC1 Clan. This is my clan and Bunny Bun is one of my clan mates. And he kindly sent in this replay of him going out in the Matilda, the British Tier 4 um, tank which I absolutely love. I think it's a spectacular tank and since update 5.5 it's had a little bit of a buff and now it has an engine that actually does work. You can actually move around the battlefield at a relatively decent speed. This thing used to be notoriously slow. Oh my life it was. It was slower than a snail. It really really was bad but 5.5 gave it a little bit of a buff. The only thing it did also do in 5.5, it gave it a little bit of a nerf and some of its armor is sort of being dumbed down for want of a better word, which is a shame. I mean, this, this tank used to bounce almost everything. It was, it was notoriously difficult to pen. Not anymore, unfortunately. It, it is rather tenable nowadays, but it still kept its super fast reload gun that dishes out eh, not that much damage, but enough to get you going in a Matilda when you've only got a few second reload. And it still can be an effective tank it will still bounce lots and lots of stuff i mean you've seen here bunny bun one two three has bounced almost 300 and he's knocked out almost 600 in damage and it, it, overall i i think what they've done in 5.5 is, is for the best i mean giving it a, a bit more speed so you can get around the battlefield and taking a little bit off its uh, its armor has not damaged this tank overly i mean unlike the luke's which has been completely destroyed in 5.5 this, this tank is a, has benefited, really. I mean, how many people were annoyed when they came across a Matilda and couldn't pen it? I mean, you still can't pen it in some angles. I mean, if you put if you angle it correctly, it's still pretty impenetrable. It, it, it's still a formidable beast on the battlefield. And as you can see here, Bunny Bun is going from strength to strength. He's taken almost half his hit points away already because now, like I said, it is a lot easier to pen. But he's moving around the battlefield a lot quicker than what he would have done. And he's still got this super gun on it. And that's the thing about the Matilda. The gun is pretty super. Great reload. Doesn't dish out massive damage, but it dishes out average damage. And when you've got a reload of this magnitude, and that average damage amounts to a lot of damage in a short space of time, funnily enough. I mean, the DPM is pretty trollish on this thing. And when you've got uh, a gun that dishes out, what, 100 damage every five seconds, over the course of a game that, that's a lot of damage guys and the, the gun is pretty accurate it will pen most things its penetration values are quite good and you will still bounce i mean look at this he's still bounced 670 in this game so far he's he's, he's done 1250 damage he's still knocking out top alpha here of over 160 i mean it's a nice tank 5.5 really hasn't hurt this tank it's, it's made it more fun, in my opinion, because now you can move around in it. You can move around the battlefield and you can now get to the front line a lot quicker than what you could previously. And yes, a lot of people are going to complain that, you know, having the armor nerfed and its hit points nerfed and its DPM nerfed a little bit is, is tinkering with a tank that they didn't need to tinker with. I mean, the Matilda was pretty formidable prior to 5.5 and it still is I mean it's they've only lowered it a little bit but to an extent it is a shame that they've lowered it at all 
But as you can see here, I mean, that hasn't really phased Bunny Bunny. He's still bouncing left, right, and center. He's still taking three kills, and he's still rolling around pretty well in this thing. So, so whilst 5.5 has sort of had an effect and dropped this thing, it's still a great tank, guys. It really still is. And it, it's still formidable on the battlefield. I mean, Bunny Bun is doing amazing stuff here. He's bounced almost a thousand, so it will still bounce shots. It has still got trollish armor. And he's done 2,000 damage. I mean, this is why the Matilda hasn't suffered like some of the others in 5.5. Yes, it's been nerfed. Yes, it has. And it's got a buff on the engine, which is much better, to be fair, because now, like I said, getting around the battlefield in this thing is a lot easier than what it used to be. I mean, look at this. He's, he's suddenly getting it up to 25 kilometers an hour. And he's, he's knocking really good damage into this grave digger. Oh, sorry, this scavenger. And he's been knocking good damage into all the tanks all game. And he gets really good damage there. 2,200, four kills, bounced over a thousand, almost a thousand. He gets an absolutely amazing and well-deserved mastery and a shed load of other medals, including that steel wall. And that's the important one. Whilst it's been nerfed, it will still bounce. That is a great game, Bunny Bun 123. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for you sending it in. Because it just goes to show that even though 5.5 has had an impact, some tanks are still playable. Anyway, moving swiftly on, here we have Jiggy with it in the Panzer 4D, the German Tier 4. And I think this is my first replay from the North American server, which is really grand. Because now I've had a replay from every server. Wow. Now, the Panzer 4D, this is another tank that has sort of suffered in the 5.5 culling. It's been heavily nerfed. A lot of things on this tank have changed. The DPM has been lowered. The penetration has been lowered. Everything has been lowered apart from the weight and the velocity, which has been increased. It, it's a shame. I mean, this, this was a really nice tank. It still is a nice tank, don't get me wrong. It's still a playable tank, and it's still a nice tank. But it has been nerfed heavily in 5.5. Not as heavily as that tank that it's looking at, the A20, which is a shadow of its former self. The other thing that's happened with this tank, it no longer has HE shells, which is a real shame. Now, I don't understand the mentality for removing the HE shells, to be perfectly honest with you, because you're going to have to fire HE shells at some stage. And in my view, it's much better to have HE shells in the lower tiers so you can get used to what they can do rather than being thrown into a KV-2, for example, where you have no idea what HE will do because it's all new to you. Anyway, that's a different subject. This is about Jiggy with it in his game in the Panzer 4D. Now, as you can see, whilst it's been nerfed, it's still got a really good rate of fire. It's still dishing out really good damage and it will still bounce. And that's good. It's, it's still got a good turn of speed. Oh, I mean, look at that. He's just bounced 160 from over there. That's amazing. I mean, he's bounced 280 so far, and he's dished out 355 damage. Not bad. And now he's facing up with another tank that has suffered really badly in the, in, in the culling, the DW2, which really is a shadow of its former self, which is such a shame because it's an amazing tank. And I do like the DW2, but then again, I like the Panzer 4D. And the Panzer 4D hasn't suffered as much as the DW2. It really hasn't. I mean, a lot of people who play the DW2 are, are going to be suffering. They really are. Because it, it's not as formidable as it used to be. It really isn't. Anyway, back to Jiggy with it in his Panzer 4D. He's doing really well. I mean, 630 damage almost. He's bounced 280. He's got a kill. And look, he, at the moment, his, his paintwork hasn't even been scratched or dented or, or, or anything. And this is good. And he's going out, and this is a, a tier four game, realistically. So he's going out at, uh, against tanks that have all suffered in 5.5. And people are going to have to take time now to get used to how these tanks now play, because they do play differently to how they used to play. And it, it's a fact of life, guys. 5.5 so far is here to stay. The tanks have been nerfed. Some have received little buffs. Like I said, the Panzer 4D had a little buff on its weight. But they're not the same tanks, and you can't play them the same way. It just can't be done anymore. I mean, you've got two Matildas there. In prior to 5.5, those two Matildas would be sending shivers of fear down the spines of everybody in the green team. 
because you'd be sat there thinking, oh my life, I can't pen them, and they're difficult, but look at this now. He's, look, there's so many areas now you can pen on the Matilda. Don't get me wrong, as I said in the previous game with Bunny Bum 1, 2, 3, it's still pretty trollish, the armour, but it's not, the, look at this, look, he's no longer red. It's not as formidable as it used to be. And it's a lot easier now to get to grips with the Matilda. And this is one of the one of the crying shames of 5.5. It's changed a lot of tanks behind recognition. Uh, what what Jiggy Wivet's doing here is getting to grips with how you now play the Panzer 4D. And you've got to be conservative. I mean, he's still putting it in the front line. He's still getting shots on when he can. But he's playing a lot more conservative than people used to play in this tank. This tank used to be, you know, one of those tanks that you could get in amongst the action, so to speak. You really can't do that anymore. And some of the changes in 5.5 will slow the game down, in my opinion. It, it really will. It, you, you won't be able to YOLO anymore, and if you do, you'll die a lot quicker because the points. I mean, look, the Matilda's gone. But anyway, Jiggy with it's now got four kills. He's done 1,200. He's bounced 400, which is great. And he's got four kills. Now he's going for the other Matilda. Last tank left. It's three against one. And everybody is now focused on this Matilda. And look at it. It's no longer the big red tomato that it used to be. And Jiggy with it can just sit here nicely, roll back, and plump shots into him at his leisure. And it's, you know, the poor Matilda now is not going to be bouncing that much. Look, it's no longer is formidable. And Jiggy with it has got him in his sights. Yes, he gets the fifth kill. What a great rollout in the Panzer 4D. A tank that has suffered a little bit. And there you go. He gets a wild deserved mastery and a shed load of other medals. And he does 1,600 damage. And he had a really great day game. He, he five kills. And I'd like to thank Jiggy with it from the North American server for sending across that replay. Because it just goes to show, as I said in the Matilda game, despite the culling in 5.5 .5 of many things, the tanks are still playable. You just have to play them a little bit differently. Anyway, moving on swiftly. This is my good friend Jonty2014 of EMRS rolling out in the FB201 A45 British Tier Air 7 Premium Tank. Now, Jonty sends me a lot of replays and every single replay he sends me is spectacular gameplay. This is a tank that thankfully hasn't been touched by 5.5 because it's a tier 7 and it's also a tank that I really like and yeah I'm British I'm an Englishman and I love the camo that John has stuck on this thing although I don't think it looks as cool as the Chieftains I mean the Chieftains much better anyway moving on I like this tank the FV4201 is a really nice tank to roll out in. It's got a great reload. It's got that really beautiful British gun that's got great gun depression, fast reload, and dishes out pretty average damage, but it dishes out average damage in a very quick rate of time. And if you stick it like this with with it all down, with that using that gun depression, boy, it's an effective tank, like most British medium tanks. It, it's pretty difficult to actually get anything on it when it's down in a dip like this, still using the gun depression to maximum effect. I mean, as you can see here, I mean, Jonty is, is a rather aggressive player at the best of times, and boy, he knows how to be aggressive. He's already got one kill. He's already dished out close to 2,000 damage. He's bounced nothing, but boy, he is having fun in this thing. He really is. I mean, he's just rolling around the battlefield like like a crazy man i mean it's it's just really good fun to watch that sometimes aggressive gameplay is very very effective and jonty knows how to play aggressively he really does a lot of people don't and a lot of people you know misread aggression for yellowing jonty doesn't do that so this is not yellowing if you want to know how not to yellow and how to be aggressive then watch how Jonty plays his tanks. He's always in a position whereby there is cover around him. He's getting in amongst the action, but he's always got a fallback position in order to protect his tank 
whilst being in a position to rain fire on the other tanks. Look, he didn't take the shot there because he knows he's not going to pen. So he gets himself into a position where he can pen. He puts his tank facing down the hill, which makes it difficult for others to pen him, although the glacial did get in a, a shot into him there. But this is how you play, guys. If you want to play aggressive and not YOLO, you need to play it like this. You need to play the tank in such a way whereby you're, you're not overly exposed, you're not taking too much risk, and you've got good cover around you. And this is where John Two's gameplay is almost a masterclass because he will show you in his games how you effectively YOLO. <laughs> And it's, well, like I said, it's not yellowing. It's just aggressive gameplay and it's proper gameplay. And what a game. Two kills, 3,300 damage. He bounced 300 and he gets a well deserved mastery and a shed load of other medals. And he's the top tank. I mean, it's clear. It, 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 that is how you play the game and that is how you should be playing the game. And I'd like to thank John T2014 of EMRS for sending that clip in. And I, I just want to finish with John T dispatching this Jag Panther 2. Because this is how you, you should be dealing and handling these sort of tanks. He is in a great position. He is not exposing his lower hull to that JP Panther, that JP2. He is using the gun depression to the maximum effect. And the, the JP doesn't really see much of a shot on Jonty. He's trying to get the gun down he's trying to be able to put something on him he just can't do it and this is where the master class is guys um, and this is why watching these replays in in slow-mo tries to help understand anyway i really hope you enjoyed the replays that were sent in and i'd like to give a big thanks to jonty 2014 of emrs bunny bun 123 of ftc1 and jiggy with it from the North American server for sharing their replays with us because they're a delight to watch. And in all cases, it, they were thoroughly deserved aces. I say this all the time, guys. Your replays really keep my little channel afloat. And I really want you to keep rolling them in. And if you want your replay shown, please, guys, send it to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com because it's amazing watching how other people play. By all means, comment below, send me your replays, give me a like, and if you really want to, subscribe. That would be nice too. Until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun, and happy tanking. Hey, I've been Fuji, and you've been great. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and I'd love if you would press subscribe. Who knows, we can do some more. By all means, drop me comments, tell me what can be improved, and tell me what you'd like to see. I'd really love to know. Anyway, until the next time, guys, happy tanking.